that is boy, lion, hero, cock, bull. These are the words which denotes male. Okay. And the other second word of each pair that is bull, lioness. Neither male 
are neither male nor female. They are non living things and hence they are said to be in neuter gender. So the noun which denotes neither male nor female is said to be in neuter gender. For example, book, fan, house, pan, chair, pencil. So for this we can't use he or she. Can you say he book or she book? No, we say it. Is it it? So these are nouns which are in neuter gender. So what we have learnt? Gender means male or female. Then there are four types of genders. First is masculine. That is a noun which denotes male is said to be in masculine gender. Feminine, that is the noun which denotes female is said to be in feminine gender. Common means the noun which denotes either male or female is said to be in common gender. And neuter means the noun which denotes neither male nor female is said to be in neuter gender. Okay? Now already we have seen different kinds of gender. Now we are going to see the ways of forming the feminine nouns. Means how to form a feminine noun from masculine noun. Basically there are three ways of forming feminine noun. So first is by using an entirely different word. Means we use totally different word. The word male and female word doesn't match at all. They are totally different. So let us see examples. Bachelor, spinster. Now what do you mean by bachelor? Bachelor is a man who is unmarried. And spinster is a girl or a lady who is unmarried. Okay. Next, horse, male. So a female horse is called as male. Buck, doe. A buck is a male animal, maybe a deer or a rabbit. So male is buck and female is doe. Next, lord, lady, dog, bitch, drone, bee. What do you mean by drone? A male bee is called as drone, uh, an insect which makes a uh, sound that is drone and female is bee. Next, nephew. Nephew means brothers or sisters, son is called as nephew. Siblings, son is a nephew. And niece means siblings, daughter. It means either your brothers or sister's daughter is niece and brother's or sister's son is nephew. Okay. Drake is a male duck. Already you know what is duck, isn't it? And female is a duck. Male is Drake, female is duck. Earl, Countess. Now what do you mean by Earl? Earl is a British man who has a High social position that is called as Earl. And female, uh, a British female who has high position in the society is called as Countess. Next is Wizard. Wizard means a um, male who has evil powers that is called as Wizard. And a female who has evil powers is called as Witch. So, these are some examples of formation of feminine gender by using entirely different words. You can see these two words are entirely different. Second way is by adding suffix or syllable, e double s or i. So, this is the second way of forming feminine nouns. Now, for example, author. So, authoress, we have added E double S. Author, authoress. Shepherd, shepherdess. Shepherd 
is one who looks after the sheep or cattle. It is called as shepherd. So shepherd is a male. Shepherd is the female. Next host. Host one who organizes a function. A male who organizes a function is a host, and a female who organizes a function is a hostess. So here also we have added ears. Tutor. Tutor one who gives you the tuitions. That is tutor. A male is tutor and female is tutoress. Hero. You all know hero. One who acts in the films. That is hero. So a male is hero and female is heroine. We have added I. So we can second form is by adding syllable after the muscularite noun to form a feminine noun. Now some other examples which let us see. Here what we have to do? We have to drop the last vowel before adding e double s. In these words also we need to add e double s but we drop the last vowel. Let us have a look at the examples. Actor. Now see your actor. So this O we have dropped and we have added e double s. Actress. Next, tiger. So we have dropped e and added e double s. Tigress. Instructor. A male gives instruction. That is instructor. So we have dropped O and we have added e double s. Instructor, instructress. Porter. Porter, one who carries the luggage is called as porter. So we have dropped the last vowel E and we have formed, uh, formed the feminine porpress. A female who carries the luggage is porpress. Waiter, one who serves in the restaurant, that is a male who serves in the restaurant is a waiter and a female is a waitress. Again here we have dropped E. So, by adding E double S or I D, we can form feminine nouns. That was the second way. Now, let us see the third way. By changing the word before or after. So, we change the before or after word and form the feminine nouns. For example, grandfather. Now see here, grandfather. This is a compound word made up of two words. That is grand and father. So one part we change and make the feminine. So grandmother. So grand means the same. Father changes to mother. So grandfather, grandmother. Great uncle. Great uncle. Two words. So, great will remain as is, uncle will change into aunt. Great uncle, great aunt. Peacock, peahen. See, just we have changed the letter part here. Milkman, milkwoman. So, man has changed into woman. Landlord, Land lady. So half part we have changed. Salesman, saleswoman. Son in law, daughter in law. So son, daughter here we have changed the first part. Man servant, maid servant. So here also we have changed the first half part of the word. Father-in-law, mother-in-law, he goat and she goat. Okay, so these are the three ways by which we can form feminine nouns. Okay, so in today's session we have learned nouns gender. Gender means male or female. So there are four kinds of genders. Masculine, that is male. Feminine, that is female. 
common means either male or female and neuter means neither male nor female then we have also seen the ways of forming feminine nouns so there are three ways first is by using entirely different word second by adding syllable in the bless or in and third by changing the word before or 